Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me here. Uh, a little bit of word about my, myself before I talk about the cool products that we're doing at Societe Generale Forge. Um, so uh, I've been studying capital markets a long time ago, spent more than 10 years at JP Morgan. My last role was head of equities and equity derivatives uh, for the private bank in Asia Pacific. 2017, I left the bank, decided to become an entrepreneur in the blockchain space, and did the first ever structured product to clear, settle, be custodied on the public blockchain, basically doing RWA before RWA was even a word. Uh, it was way too early, so I switched, went to Coinbase, spent three years as head of institutional sales for Asia Pacific and, uh, and EMEA. And six months ago, I decided it was time to come back to the banking world, come back into RWA, uh, and, and put like, all my energy into growing that, uh, that, that business. So I joined SG Forge, which is a subsidiary of Societe Generale, uh, uh, the, one of the larger systemic banks in Europe, which is also 160 year old basically making me a suit and a dinosaur. What we're doing at Societe Generale Forge, uh, we're a fully owned subsidiary of Societe Generale, uh, and we're dedicated to digital assets. We've been tokenizing securities since 2020, uh, and the first big achievement that we had uh, was to be the lead of the syndicate for the tokenization of the European Investment Bank bond, uh, which was a 100 million uh, euro bond. Uh, other part persons in the syndicates were Goldman Sachs and, and a large bank in, uh, in, in Spain. Since then, we've been tokenizing more bonds, more structured products, which is one of the core business of our investment bank. Uh, and if you fast forward until the beginning of this year, we decided to push the envelope even further uh, and essentially tokenize the, the investment leg. Instead of investing into this tokenized product with cash, we wanted to offer a settlement instrument uh, in order to do so more automatically and more efficiently. So we launched a stablecoin uh, that is called uh, EuroCV and that we use for uh, the uh, investment into the bond that we issued at the beginning of this year, which was a green bond issued by the bank and sold to a big insurer in, in France. Uh, talking about the, um, the stablecoin, uh, this stablecoin uh, is the first MICA compliant uh, stablecoin that is issued by a bank. Um, we, uh, as we received the EMI license in, uh, in, in Europe, uh, we also decided that we wanted to make it permissionless and fully transferable. Um, so there are like three different use cases for uh, this stablecoin, and we're working on these three verticals at the same time. The first one, I mentioned like using it as a settlement instrument for all the products that we and other manager, asset managers and other banks are bringing on chain. Uh, it's a settlement instrument, but it also can be used as a life cycle management instrument. Imagine paying your coupons directly with a stablecoin and at maturity of the product, automatically repaying the, uh, the notional uh, plus accrued payments to, uh, to, to the investors automatically. Uh, the second use case is working with corporates, uh, corporates and their treasury desk in order for them to transfer value 24-7, cross-border, instantaneously, and very cheaply. Uh, we're also working with them uh, using programmatic money uh, in a way for them to be able to uh, basically better manage their liquidity intraday. And finally, the very interesting use case, and that's the reason why we're here, is making the stablecoin available in the crypto world. As an on and off ramp, uh, for people who want to have like an investment-grade stablecoin to uh, enter into that ecosystem, but also to make it available in the DeFi space. Uh, liquidity pools, being able to use it in lending, and also being able to use it in indexes. And that's the reason why we're, we're here, I'm here as well today. Uh, we really believe that the future is multi-chain, uh, and uh, we have been very careful in choosing which next chain to use uh, for the deployment of that stablecoin, and obviously it has been Solana. A um, few reasons for that. Uh, obviously, from a technical, technical point of view, um, low latency, very high throughput, uh, and very low cost was something that is very important to us. Uh, but it's also like the ecosystem. Uh, to me, the ecosystem is growing very fast. We see more and more developers coming to this chain. Uh, and we also had like, amazing discussions with the people at the foundation. Uh, it was really a pleasure to work with them and, and very, very efficient as well. Having said that, uh, we're not planning to just stay on stablecoin and bring st only stablecoin to, to Solana. Uh, we have been tokenizing more securities. They are uh, here on the slide. Talking about Smart Cash, which is uh, a structured product uh, which has a payout that is very similar to Money Market Fund. Uh, structured products which are investment solutions uh, consisting of 
bonds and derivatives packaged together. Uh, that's really investment solutions uh, that we would plan uh, to bring as well if there are good use cases. And finally, bonds. Um, to me, the, the importance of blockchain technology and, and financial markets, the two are going to, to converge in one place, which I believe is going to be DeFi. Uh, I think Solana has the perfect ecosystem for that. And hopefully, there's going to be a lot of builders uh, who are going to help us uh, do what we're trying to achieve. Uh, so just a call for action here. Uh, please, and we're not trying to build everything ourselves. Uh, we would like to have like, all the builders uh, come to us, uh, present what they're trying to do, and see if we can do something together. My email is here. And uh, thank you very much for giving me the time. <laughs>